Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to installing the Craft CMS. Okay, if first, if you don't know Craft CMS, now uh, this Craft CMS is the content management system, just like uh, WordPress and the others. Uh, for more details, you can go to craftcms.com. So let's start, start with the installation. For the installation manual, you can find in the documentation, and you can find the detailed tutorial if you like to read the tutorial itself rather than watching the video. You can go to the craftcms.com, and you can find the documentation how to installing the craftcms itself. Okay, this under here, installing updating, and this one is the requirement. Okay, this one is the minimum specification of and recommended system specification for the web service itself. Okay, for the information, uh, in here I'm using a uh, valid as the web service itself. Okay, let's start with the installation so the first step is the download crafts itself there is a uh, two way to downloading the craft cms first using composer and the second is downloading man archive manually so if you download the archive manually you can just download this file here and then extract the file inside your project okay so here we are going to the installation using the composer okay for example this one is I have inside my inset my project 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 directory i can just do this command composer create project craft cms then the path so the path itself i will be using craft cms okay this one will be downloading the craft cms and the other package that needed for the craft cms itself download is already done so in, if we don't don't nothing you using composer they give us option to set up the craft cms so for example is we choose yes and in my system i using my sql for the database and the IP for the database is using the normal one the port is the normal one true password and the name I already create the database is name craft cms no prefix yes let's say yes admin email you can use your email or just a random email only for this tutorial I you're using your email and this in this tutorial I just use this email for the just documentation password for password you can use anything password that will be used to log into the craft CMS set name for example I call CMS 
website, the set URL. This one is the set URL will be used uh, to open the Crafts MS. For here, I, because I'm using the valid, I already set up. So this one is so I can use like this. Uh, for this uh, data, actually, uh, for the set name and the others, you can update inside the URL again. Dot .nv file. Okay, so sorry. Okay, this one is the. They just using the migration to upload the data to the database. Okay, it is already done. Okay, let's try to open the the file. So it's here. Okay. So here is the the file for the craft CMS. You can find the env file. This one is that what we set up before the MySQL. DB server, the database port, and this one. Okay, so for the the set URL I already created. This setup for myself, it's using Graph CMS underscore dot test. If you using the yeah, another Another web server, web server you can choose, you can just configure with your on your web server. Okay, let's try to open this page. Hopefully, it's nothing wrong. Okay, this one is the welcome page for the graph CMS, and for the admin, you can open slash admin. Okay, this one is the admin that we already set up before and login okay so here we are this one is the installation of the craft CMS already complete so this one is dashboard utilities setting and the plugin store it is the first thing you will can you can see when you yes first install the graph cms for your information this one i have using the solo so the graph cms is have two version for solo and then one is the craft cms pro if you want to upgrade the craft cms into pro one you can just go to the plugin store and try for free for now this one is will be used the trial craft cms so you can using the trial of the craft cms pro in your development environment okay that's all for installing craft cms so the next topic it will be how to create a section and the field entry and the others in craft cms thank you for watching goodbye